But now I'm going to have to push back on you a little bit. I'm a black woman who lives in Harlem. And yeah. uh, Go ahead. let me tell you something. I really do feel like there are so many white women that are toxic. And when I look at the fact that so many of them still support Trump and they supported him in 2016, and it's looking like they're still going to uh, be supporting yeah. him. And, you know, I, I don't know if they told you, but this is Andy Cohen's um channel so we have a lot of right. white suburban women that listen to this show um you know because they're housewife fans um so what message do you have for these women because it was disgusting to me to see 53 percent of white women vote for donald trump and then turn around and do a pink pussy hat rally um you know in january right. i was like well y'all should have fucking did a pink pussy hat rally in October, right. November, you know what I mean. So, speak to your folks. Well, the thing, Alyssa, the thing about the thing about the the pussy hat uh, march was, uh, you know, that was a direct result of Trump getting elected, and I think because people looked at that as, um, you know, potentially Trump trying to strip away our rights, which, by the way, he is trying to strip away our rights mm -hmm. as women. Um, uh, people marched. But, you know, what came out of that march was more women running for for Congress. Yes. And mm -hmm. and that is gorgeous. But OK, so um, to your suburban white uh, women listeners, um, what you are potentially doing and what you have done is going to continue on for generations and generations if you do not make the right decision in November. And what I mean by that is the Supreme Court is on the ballot because if Donald Trump wins again and we lose... Mm -hmm. Some of our Supreme Court members, because some of them are old, he yes. gets to appoint, like he did with, with Judge Kavanaugh, he gets mm -hmm. to appoint a Supreme Court justice. What they are doing is stacking the court, the Republicans, so that the, 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 the Supreme Court leans in a conservative direction. Now... Supreme Courts, all courts, are not supposed to be political. They are supposed to, especially the Supreme Court, they're supposed to uh, base their judgments on the Constitution, mm -hmm. on laws. So the fact that we have a heavy Republican Supreme Court is, is not great for future generations at all. Um, so that's the first thing. The second thing is, we, the whole point of, of politics is personal. We have to leave this place better than we found it. And with all of the insane amount of, of environmental protections that Trump is cutting in a very short-sighted way because he is bought by lobbyists, I don't know that our grandkids are going to have a planet. Mm -hmm. So that's two. Three, your secret's safe with me. I don't care if your husband feels like he needs to vote Trump. You go in that ballot box and you secretively do what you know is right for future, future generations mm -hmm. and for this country. 